Plastic packaging makes up a third of all plastic use. If you think back to maybe 30, 40 years ago, most people would be eating food that came out of brown paper bags. And what's happening now is that we're routinely exposing ourselves to a lot of chemicals through packaging in foods. What's emerging is a research which suggests quite clearly that there are any number of chemicals in packaging in certain forms and in combinations which compromise our health in serious ways. We saw a picture of the turtle with the carrier bag in its mouth uh -huh. and of an albatross who had um, like pounds of plastic in its stomach. Uh -huh. And it consisted of bottle caps, cigarette lighter, toothbrush, plastic toys, stuff that we were using on a daily basis. Uh -huh. And my husband saw that picture of the, of the turtle and he said, we are never taking another carrier bag ever again. How much waste do you generate a year? Have you ever worked it out? Last year, we created a carrier bag of waste. What, a carrier bag? Yeah. What, well, you mean this? Yes. Of waste? Of landfill waste. In a year? Mm -hmm. How many are you? Three. And a Th rabbit. Three of you and a rabbit. Well, the <laughs> rabbit, I suppose, eats mostly. But anyway, <laughs> that's extraordinary. But what about your newspapers? They get recycled. So, uh, waste that cannot be recycled yeah. for a whole year. Okay. That's absolutely amazing. I would love to know, I mean, how you do it. By, purely by how you choose the shop, or are there it, other ways? It starts before you get to the checkout. You have to make a conscious decision before you hit the checkout. Right. So basically, you pick something out, oh, that looks nice. Yeah. You have to ask yourself, what am I going to do with either this product or this packaging when I have finished using it? Mm -hmm. And so whereas most people perhaps turn it over to look at the price, we turn it over to look at the recycling information. Right. So this is something that lots of parents buy for their kids. It comes in this laminated pouch with a plastic. That's it? orange juice. Yeah, it's, it's orange juice. So instead of buying it in a carton that could be recycled or a glass bottle, this uh, the green dot symbol, are you familiar with that one? No, I'm not. I get confused with all these symbols. Right, well this symbol here, lots of people think that's a recycling symbol. Isn't it? But it's not a recycling symbol. It means that this company has paid a certain amount to, uh, to have their products recycled, but the consumer cannot do anything with that. It's not hard to learn on a packet of cigarettes that they kill you. Yes. It's very clearly, so why isn't it clearly yeah. written on these? Yeah. Five years on, and Rachel Strauss's influence and enthusiasm has spread far and wide. Since I first started looking at these issues, zero-waste communities have sprung up all over the world.